Welcome back to the Plus Side of Nashville. You know, when servicemen and women retire or fulfill their length of stay in the military, going back to the lives they knew before putting on that uniform is not as easy as maybe one would think. The military world and the civilian world are two different worlds. So for most, it takes some adjustment, plunging back into the life outside of the military. Veterans Adventure Group is an organization that helps former servicemen and women regain a sense of the structure, community, and teamwork that many of them experienced while in the military. And they do so in a unique way. And here to tell us all about it is the founder and the president of Veterans Adventure Group, Justin Maycheck, and Sean White, who's the, the organization's treasurer. Welcome to you both. Yeah, thank you for having us. We really appreciate it. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. This is an organization that there definitely sounds like that there's been a need for, uh, Justin. Oh, yes. Uh, when I actually started this organization, I was kind of looking at it, I was like, I, I can't believe no one's done this already. Like, I there's know. so many veterans that could benefit from this, but just aren't getting the help they need. So we kind of aim to fill that gap. We'll talk about both of you. I'd love to know um, how long were you in the military? And then what was your experience like once you got out? Yeah, so I served five years with the 101st Airborne Division up here at Fort Campbell. It's kind of how I got down in the Nashville area. Originally, I'm from Minnesota. But during my time, I did two tours in Afghanistan. And um, my transition out, you know, it was very complicated. I, uh, during the military, I was very successful. I got to do a lot of things I would normally never get to do and I actually really looked at doing it for a career. But um, we'll kind of get into it later, but we'll talk about a particular day, okay. September, 18th, two, September 18th, 2010. Uh, everything just kind of changed for me. And um, ultimately though, you know, getting out, you know, I'll never forget how hard it was. I was in college about six months after being out. And imagine what it's like being in college with a bunch of 18 year old kids with, you know, just kind of just getting out into the world and they're focused on the party every night and you're sitting in there when six months ago you're in Afghanistan calling an airstrikes, you know? Yes. It's, um, wow. <laughs> it's, it's very hard to relate, you know? And um, that was definitely the lowest of my lows and it got so bad at one point, I actually had to give all my weapons to one of my friends, like, look, like, I, I shouldn't have these. Like, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I could lose control, and I may, this, it's better if someone else holds on to these for a little while. And um, ultimately, you know, I'll never forget, there's one night I sat down, and I was just miserable. And I started writing down everything that was bothering me. And what it came down to was a lack of a team and a lack of a purpose after getting on the military. And so that's where we kind of started using extreme sports as a method to bring that back in. I think that is amazing. I hear those terms used a lot too, Sean. Purpose and teamwork. You know, being married to a former a soldier, retired military man, I hear him say that a lot. Talk about how long were you in the military and did you feel that same way? Well, our, our stories are actually very different. Um, I spent six years on active duty in the Army. Mm -hmm. Didn't see combat. I did spend a year in Korea, um, but during peacetime, of course. Um, but, you know, when I met Justin and he started telling me his story about how difficult it was for him when he separated from the military and, and got back into civilian life. The, his stories rang, rang true to my personal stories too, but under totally different circumstances. I, I wasn't in Afghanistan calling in airstrikes, uh, you know, but I did work on aircraft that patrolled the DMZ in, in, in Korea um, and coming back into the civilian world and just trying to assimilate. And, and you know, it's a, different, it's a different world, like you said earlier, um, your co-workers don't really understand you. Uh, your family doesn't really understand you. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, even to this day, I still have strained relationships with family members because I'm a different person than I was when I left when I was 18 years old. Now I'm 40 years old, have a career, and, and, and have, have gone through all of that. But yeah, you know, getting together with Justin and starting Veterans Adventure Group, I have seen a, you know, a restoration of that purpose and that mission, and it's, it's awesome. It is awesome. I can't wait to learn. We gotta take a break. But we're going to talk about just some of the wonderful things that you all do uh, and the camaraderie that I think that you've, you've helped these, these guys uh, develop uh, with this organization. So we'll be back right after this with more about the Veterans Adventure Group. So stay with us.